war against Ukraine combined with Washington's increasingly confrontational approach to China have created a perfect storm in which both Russia and China are accelerating efforts to diversify away from the dollar. Their central banks are keeping less of their reserves in dollars, and most trade between them is being settled in the yuan. They are also making efforts to get other countries to follow suit. The author and investor Ruchir Sharma points out, right now, for the first time in my memory, we have an international financial crisis in which the dollar has been weakening rather than strengthening. I wonder if this is a sign of things to come. If it is, Americans should worry. I spoke last week about the bad geopolitical habits Washington has developed because of its unrivaled unipolar status. It's even more true economically. America's politicians have gotten very used to spending seemingly without any concern about deficits. Public debt in America has risen almost fivefold, from roughly $6.5 trillion 20 years ago to $31.5 trillion today. The Fed has solved a series of financial crises by massively expanding its balance sheet almost 12-fold, from around $730 billion 20 years ago to about $8.7 trillion today. All of this only works because of the dollar's unique status. If that were to wane, America will face a reckoning like none before.